Hello everyone, Godzilla Guy here, back here with another video. Today we have NECA, King Kong. Picked him up for around 20 bucks at Target. Um, before you get into it, cue the intro. I finally have an intro after five years. I'm excited, I hope you like it. Okay, firstly, uh, comment if you like the intro, <laughs> but more importantly, Kong. Now, let's get straight into him. So, of course, firstly, you're going to have the box. Now, sadly, I couldn't reassemble it because I threw away the plastic. I didn't really realize, but here's the box art. Looks very nice. Side, the back, very nice overall. Super nice. like a lot. Now, of course, if you guys own any NECA figures, you know, they don't usually have many accessories, but this one does have... Three overall. So we have an extra head of him being super mad. And then just two extra hands that both have a joint in them to be able to turn. They're incredibly stiff though. But I know what you're here for. You're here for the monkey. Ooga booga. Now, the Kong you have is pretty tall. He um, actually dwarfs most of my figures. There's not really, I don't actually think I own any that are taller. Besides, like, the purposely large ones. Um, here, luckily I have one beside me, is another NECA figure. This is NECA GMK Godzilla. We get him as high as he can possibly go. Hold him up. That's about it. He is a very, very tall guy. We have a Bandai Heisei Godzilla also. So he's probably around 8 inches almost. Very, very tall. Now, let's look at him himself. Very, very nice paint job. The fur is really done well. There's, like, you know, shadows here and there, like, darker areas to act like shadows. The cuts are nice and painted. Some highlights here and there. The mouth looks really good. We can actually get closer to the light box now. The mouth. Very nice colors. Reds and yellows. Now, articulation. Head has a ball joint, so you can look all the ways he would ever want to look. Arms, very nicely articulated. Also at the elbows. And the wrists and the fist. He has a upper body. I guess I guess it kind of be waist. <laughs> a more of a chest uh, ball joint. So you can look down or up. You can look really high up, Ashley. <laughs> and then his legs, of course, also move. Have a very nice, satisfying click. And then at the knees, and then the foot. Okay, there's not really any good way to use it unless you just want to move the foot. Kind of difficult to move around. Now, the accessories. Get your hands ready with band-aids nearby because you it is a pain to get these off. But so much worse getting these suckers back on. Really push on. Is it on? Okay, looks like it's on there good. Very, very nice looking. Very angry. The hands, those, these are the hardest part. I have to actually get it off screen. These are incredibly difficult. There we go. And uh, put, that's the wrong hand. <laughs> then back in, it kind of looks like he's grabbing stuff. I have a lot of fun playing with this Kong specifically. Um, against like, a team of smaller ones. I might make stop motion someday of this giant Kong versus like my uh, Mezuko Toys line and my uh, maybe my uh, Revolt Tech the Aragon. Um, which if you want to see both of those videos, I'll have them linked down below. But yeah, super, super big Kong. So he is one heck of a figure. And he's also not hollow. He's thick. He has a lot of heft to him. He's a heavy boy. And, uh, yeah, he looks pretty good. <laughs> now, when I showed, up, I showed off how tall he was, <laughs> I don't really think that did him justice. So, I have a few other Kongs with me. First up, the Funko Pops. This is the Kong Soda. Absolutely tiny. And before I keep going, it's kind of cool. The two Funko Pops I have of Kong are both flocked. So, both rare. <laughs> I don't own any regular Kong Funkos. Um, so, that's pretty cool. Regular Kong Funko from GMK. Now let's get a little bit taller. <laughs> Kong from Godzilla vs. Kong. I mean, he's he's nothing. 
really. I mean, he's just not even at his, like, upper abs. <laughs> also, don't buy this figure. It's not worth it. <laughs> Go for the special color version. This uh, this one sucks. It falls apart super easily. Really, the only thing that can even barely size comparison to him is the Titan Tech, which is still shorter than him. I mean, they're, like, pretty much the same size, but still, it's <laughs> it's crazy how just absolutely gargantuan this guy is. Like, he doesn't look it, because you think a figure, you think small. And, I mean, I'm showing it off, but, I mean, like, he's taller than my hands. He's massive. So, yeah, I just want to show him off. Um, this video is also just kind of an excuse to show off the intro, <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. But I did hope you guys enjoy. Um, and yeah, uh, I guess I should promote this. If we hit 2K before Christmas, I'm doing an $80 giveaway. It's going to be international. Um, so you'll have 80 bucks to spend on any, really anything Godzilla related. And uh, yeah, so if you, if you were possible, win, make sure to share. And uh, maybe give this video a like. But yeah, leave a comment on any any other figure you want to see. Just if you if there's any any like I don't know which one you own, just look at my figure collection videos. Um, be like I want to see that one because you haven't made a video on that, and I'll be happy to make a video on it. <laughs> but everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's a bit of a shorter video, but I just kind of felt like making it, and I'm really bored at 10:18 p.m. But yeah, everybody, have a good day, good night, good evening. Guys, little guy out.